If I had known that I was going to be here for 36 years, you could have never convinced me that that was going to happen. As Fayetteville Academy enters the home stretch for the 2013-14 Annual Fund, we would like to honor the many accomplishments and the impact of Virginia Satiski. Ms. Satiski, a sixth grade science teacher and head of the upper and middle schools, has served the Fayetteville Academy family for the past 36 years. At 43, I look back and realize that everything that I appreciated and that we all appreciated in Ms. Satiski were traits, abilities, and talents that made her a phenomenal teacher, a teacher that everybody remembers. I would imagine anybody that uh, came through the academy, if you listed their top two or three teachers, she would be on almost everyone's list. Well, I was kind of nervous because everyone was saying how like middle school is a lot harder than lower school and stuff, and I was like scared, but because I thought she might be mean, but she's like the best teacher I've ever had. One of those people who you just admired, especially as a young woman, I admired because she, she demanded your attention. She demanded your focus and would not accept any less, but yet everybody loved her. You know, the first time that I met Virginia when I was interviewing for my job, I remember going home to Wendy, and, and not that I wasn't impressed by a lot of other people, but I went home that day and Wendy said, how was the interview? And I said, boy, there is one administrator there who is just top notch sharp. I mean, you can just see it. She's got her stuff down. And, uh, I've been, I, I may have underestimated, if anything, because, I mean, she's, she's that and more. It may be a surprise to many just how humble Miss Statisky's beginning at the Academy was. I started out as a fifth grade teacher in a, uh, in a math and science classroom down in the lower school um, many years ago. And um, as time went on, um, a science teacher retired, and I was asked then to take on an eighth grade or science position and of course my first response was oh no they're much too smart for me uh, I could never do eighth grade science but they convinced me um, to, to stay and I did it and I uh, found that um, middle school was a wonderful experience for me. There's two very well-known sides to Miss Satiski. I guess she does have a sense of humor so she, she can be pretty funny at times how nice of a teacher she is and how much fun her class was. And she'll always find a way to make you laugh because she doesn't like seeing someone sad because it just, it's just her thing. Uh, they get familiar with my sense of humor, um, which can be a little sarcastic sometimes, but Virginia? with the what? <laughs> you have a call? I, I'm in, a, I'm in an inter a taping session, which you are now on. Oh. Bye. <laughs> Bye. <laughs> um, That's pretty classic. <laughs> <laughs> <It's bad. laughs> then there's the other side. It's better to be on a good side than a bad side because she can be your friend, but at the same time, you really just don't want to make her mad because she does know how to bring down the hammer in a good way. To yeah, she always knew which side of the line she needed to be on, for sure. Uh, she could be tough and she could be nice, too, so... Uh, Try to stay on a good side. The minute Ms. Satiski gave you the look that playtime was over and work was to begin, uh, everybody's back stiffened up and uh, we started working on science. She knows how to like lay down the law but being nice when you do when she does it. She's she's very direct. She doesn't mess around. Uh, she's she's analytical about things, but you know, she's a person who who says something, she means it and and then she backs it up. And whether that's something good and we're backing it up with a celebration or maybe something not so good and and we're backing it up with a consequence. What I try to do um, is carefully as I possibly can is to instill a sense of fairness. Um, you know, if a student um, is having a good time and they're having a good time at the right time, then that's terrific. But if they're having a good time at the wrong time, then that's where the sense of balance comes in. I think, as in many cases, um, you know, seeking um, a way to stay out of trouble is probably uh, the best means of survival. Um, survival of the fittest, so to speak, if we're going to use science terms. Um, so they, um, but they're amazing kids. The kids of Fayetteville Academy are what truly mean the most to Miss Satiski. There is not a day that goes by that our students don't teach me something. Um, they, I, I'm continually amazed at the integrity that they have. Um, it's not unusual for students to find $20 laying on the ground and they will bring it into me and 
um, say Miss Atiski, I found this $20. And they just have this amazing sense of caring um, for each other as individuals. She sets an expectation that you feel an obligation to live up to and that helps a lot because when someone sets a high expectation it helps you to strive to meet it. I guess the important thing that I always took away from her was character. She really taught you that um, character is all about being the best person you can be when no one's looking. It's not about you know being on the front page or you know, the center of attention, but who you are behind closed doors. She was a huge role model for me. I, I just, I knew that I wanted to be a woman like that who could demand the attention and respect, especially from children one day, um, my own. Now that I have three sons, I, I appreciate what I learned from her. She can relate to any student, and it might not be in her job description to tend to our emotional needs, but she's definitely always there for us. Somebody like Virginia Satisky can be seen as, as the mother of the, of the school, and of course she'll kill me for saying this, but maybe at this stage to some of those kids, the grandmother of the school. Um, but, but you know, I, I say that not jokingly. She not only knows these kids, so many of them from the time that they're young all the way up through, but she is now, I, I know she's working with kids that are second generation Fayetteville Academy. That is huge fun. It is just so uncanny to see, uh, to use the old adage that the, uh, the apple doesn't fall far from the tree. Walking in and sitting in her classroom as a parent rather than a student, I think it was it was um, an interesting moment for both of us. <laughs> we just kind of looked at each other and smiled and reminisced for a few minutes about, you know, when I was a student and then, you know, coming in as a parent. It's just, it's a different dynamic, but um, fun nonetheless. So, and my son adored her, had a great time in her class and came out with a strong A. So he had a great year with her. Now is your chance to honor Miss Satiski with your support of the Academy. This is what is going to solidify the future of the Academy. And when I think about people like Virginia, who have put their lives, literally their professional lives, into this Academy and their hearts and their souls, to know that after she retires, and hopefully that won't be for many years, but after she retires, her legacy will be here, not only in a spiritual sense, which it will, but in a very real financial sense, and that the future of this school will be uh, more stable, it'll be greater because of the financial legacy left behind by people who donate in her honor to these endowment funds that will go on forever. Well, fundraising is, is critical to what we do. Um, everyone knows that a, a private education cost is um, often a burden for many families, and many families make sacrifices to send their children here. Um, and the cost of tuition doesn't cover the entire cost of educating a child here at our school. So the additional funds that can be gained through fundraising, donations, endowments, um, gifts in kind, anything that can be done to support the program um, beyond what the cost of tuition require or meet um, is certainly critical to the existence of our school.